Hello everyone, I'm Brennan. And I'm Ryan. And this is Brennan Welcome to oh. Brennamese. <laughs> How are you doing, Ryan? I'm doing very well. Um, how are you doing, Brennan? I'm doing great. I had a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I love those. I love them so much. I think that they're great. Um, I'm going to go um, get a new tattoo. <laughs> mm, my pumpkin spice latte not sponsored. Did you say I'm going to go get a new Meg. tattoo? Slurp. Hello, this is my daughter. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a party and <laughs> post some shit on my Instagram story. That's all I am to you? <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> is that all I am to listen, you? Listen, <laughs> listen. Uh, Nick, Nick and Charlie were asking, like, oh, so what does Brendan like to do? And I was like, mmm. Mm, he, he likes Marvel. I do like Marvel. Um, you know, I was just like, what else did I say, guys? I think I named, like, three things. Yeah. I could probably only name, like, three things that you like. Yeah. That's going to make it seem like we're not actually friends. Yeah, but the thing is, our personalities are very, very simple. <laughs> <laughs> like, Brian likes Spider-Man shirts. Um, Spider-Man. Yeah. I have a degree. And you, yeah, you're What smart. is my degree in? Social work. Yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't believe that one. I said social justice. <laughs> I truly am. Well, like, what is social a social work degree if not, like, a social justice warrior degree, I think? Period. It really is. You know, I use that term, like, with air quotes, like, as in, like, I yeah. was using it as someone who would have used it in, like, 2018 type of thing. Yeah. I used it in my, like, apology thing. And people were really mad about it. Like, oh, wow, you're still using the term SJW. Oh, and I'm, really? Like, I was, like, but I was using it in a term of, like, like, um... Just, like, how I would describe it as 2018, Ryan. Yeah. But I, I think, like, I, I think it. what's interesting, too, is, like, everyone who's, like, made fun of... I'm going to be playing with this mustache the entire That's time. what I do. Um, I do that just in real life. <laughs> um, I think what's interesting is that all of the people who were, like, made fun of for, like, being social justice warriors, like, went on to get degrees in, like, therapy, social work. Um, Milo, like, has a degree in, like, um, immigration studies. Like, we all, like, went on to get, like... <laughs> to get like really interesting degrees in the social justice warrior type stuff so we can like back up our claims that we were being made fun of for. I I think that's kind of interesting how we all ended up doing that kind of stuff. But anyway. You'd be be soups cute blonde. No. Yeah. I am not going blonde. I don't think I'll ever go blonde. I think this is a look. I like I the Ryan look on go you. Blonde. No, you need to get the sleeve. No, I feel like I'm from the '70s. I do feel kind of out of out of place. What about you? Well, you Nick feel? said he was getting like 2018 Ryan flashbacks. You do kind of look like 2018 if I, Ryan. If I take off the glasses, I cover up my mustache. We are going. Trigger warning. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stop! I hate that so much. I hate that so much. We, but we are going to look at some 2018. Ryan photos. And 2018 Brennan photos. And 2018 Brennan, because we're ta- today we're talking about uh, fashion and clothing. trans like identities and like how fashion and clothing can affirm identities and all of that expression. stuff. And we're going to look at some photos of how our um, expression and our fashion has changed over time. Mm-hmm. But we have to unfortunately talk about what's going on in the trans discourse community Mm. um Mm. and in what's what people are talking about on tiktok something i've been seeing a lot on my for you page has been this guy we're not gonna say his name we're gonna call him um marcus marcus we're gonna call him marcus He's just a, a trans guy on TikTok that's been making some interesting TikToks. And we're going to react to them and kind of talk about why they suck. Yeah? Yeah. You guys know that, like, breed of TikTok trans guys <laughs> who, um, like, they, like, um, they're usually straight. Obviously, yes. they're usually very cis-passing. Yes. And they dress very, like, frat boy, yes. right? But they, like... 
they're like, oh, I wish I was cis so I could be a slave Yeah, boy. and then they also, like, go out of their way to, like, make fun of trans people who don't pass in the mm-hmm. way that they think, like, passing should look. And they, like, go out of their way to, like, make fun of trans people that, in my opinion, might be less fortunate than them. Because, like, it, there is a lot of, you know luck involved with passing right i don't know how long this mustache is gonna last i, was gonna say, I don't <laughs> yeah. know how long i'm gonna keep any of this on me <laughs> okay i let's think start. after we talk about this we can change <laughs> oh god that one why he put his donkeys like that oh also before we do this like disclaimer like don't go hate on this guy because yeah. of us if like you, if you find if you find out who he is like don't don't do that don't hate on him on the account of us like what we're trying to do is like use him almost as an example of like what this genre of trans men do right like it's uh don't don't bully people (laughs) there should be like right ryan don't bully people (laughs) don't bully people don't bully people don't bully people you're you're the ryan (laughs) i'm brennan (laughs) I have never bullied anybody in my entire life. <laughs> That's true. That is wow. a fact. Wow, good, good for you. I don't know if I've ever bullied anybody. Dang, I was I've terrible. I've definitely school. called people out. I've definitely made videos calling people out, but not necessarily like in a bullying fashion. Um, I would bully kids who would bully kids. That's true. I did That's that. That's true. A lot. I didn't. Um, I didn't get into any of that. I was. Oh, I did that a lot. All of my like. Every, like, friend group, I was always, like, middle-of-the-lane friend group. We weren't super popular, but we also weren't, like, getting bullied and stuff. Like, I've always been, like, middle-of-the-pack kind of person. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a fun fact about me. That's cute. I was bullied when I moved high schools, though. I was bullied pretty hard. If we were friends in high school, I would have defended you so hard. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I had a friend in elementary I feel like, school. Yeah. Sorry, not to no, go, go ahead. Track. I had a friend in elementary school. I want to see if you're watching this. Hi, miss you, homegirl. But um, she was, like, my best friend in the first grade. And, like, we were in a Montessori school where, like, first through third graders were kind of, like, mixed. So there was, like, 20 kids in this class. And they were all, like, ages 6 through, like, 8 or, like, 5 through 9 sometimes. And then these, like, third graders would always make fun of Monacy because she would always have, like, her mom would always make, like, authentic Indian food. I curse, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> her mom would always make... Said- <laughs> yeah. I, this is my first time cursing on the podcast. Um, her mom would always make, like, the best freaking Indian food and everything. And, like, this girl, Katie, in the third, like, she's a third grader, and we were first graders. She'd be like, your food stinks. It smells. And then Monacy would just, like, not eat at school. And I was, like... That's well, so sad. And I was like, yeah, well, your ham sandwich is made out of hamsters because you're ugly. Or I said something stupid like that. And then she would, like, make it a point to try to, like, bully us. And then one time she – um, I got in trouble because of this. But one time she said that my shark's tooth necklace was ugly. And I said, yeah, but I could, like – And then I got in trouble. Oh, my God. And then God. she never bothered us again. <laughs> oh, my Mind God. you, I was, like, a six-year-old girl, like, saying this. So, That's like <laughs> – terrible. That is terrible. But it's okay. I became, like, besties with her little sister, actually. Oh, awesome. Which was really funny. I feel like your stories just go, like, you never know where they're going to end. Yeah. You never well, know. Well, this one ended peaceful. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to watch. We're going to watch Marcus. Um, oh, I forgot. That was, I was like, who's Marcus? <laughs> We're going to watch Marcus. We're going to watch it with the sound off because it's just a song. It's not him talking or anything, and we don't want to get copyrighted. So let's go. We're going to have um, our lovely editor edit this in, but let's see. When you're mad at a trans guy for flexing that he passes his sis. The ultimate goal of being But then you remember <laughs> the ultimate goal of being transgender is passing oh first of all look he got g's and then he yeah and then he got a's his surgery was so fast oh my gosh <laughs> so he stuffs his shirt is the thing he stuffs his shirt to like look like somebody who doesn't pass as well as him and he does that in several videos like this one um this is his my co-workers expecting the new trans employee what someone who's like early in their transition yeah not as like fortunate as you yeah and then yeah. <laughs> wait the end. wait wait <laughs> he goes eh. wait did you guys see this <laughs> at the end he goes eh. <laughs> the very last second okay he wants good. to be a sway boy so bad i, I think I know. that that's my favorite part of it it's like these are the type of guys that yeah. are like so painfully trans yeah. i'm not laughing at their pain of being trans but i'm yeah. laughing at the fact that like 
bro, why do you want to be a frat boy so bad? Like, yeah. calm down. It's yeah. not, like, the coolest thing in the world. Really yeah. And so so pretty much, like, all of his TikToks are, like, him making fun of trans people who can't pass as well as him. So, like, he stuffs his shirt in almost every, <laughs> every TikTok, which I, is... A little ironic, like... Like, you're making fun of people who can't pass, but, like, you're, you're also... fucking making a point. Stuffing your pass. shirt. Like, doesn't that cause you dysphoria? Trying to like, show off bedoinkies? You cool with having bedoinkies? <laughs> hey, that's all you. That's like, fine. Like, I don't know. But, but, like, that's just not me. Man. And then, and then, so shirt, what's, what bothers me, so, so, so he, like, goes shirtless, and he feels totally comfortable being shirtless in front of a camera, bef- like, he's not have, he doesn't have top surgery. So, he looks like that without top surgery. Which makes him so lucky. Like, so lucky. This man, like, passes so well as a man. He looks and seems to be very comfortable in his skin and very confident in his identity, which makes him so lucky. Like, some trans people, their goal is to look like that and to pass and to feel comfortable with their shirt off. And he's reached all of those goals. And instead of like just going into the world, knowing how lucky he is and appreciating that, he goes out of his way to make TikToks that make fun of people that are just not as lucky as him. You know, Mm -hmm. like it's going to cost me like $10,000. If my insurance doesn't cover my surgery, like which they might not, it's going to cost me $10,000 to get a sliver closer to what he has. And and he's acting as if like one of the captions on his video is like that he's worked harder than like than that, like <laughs> that is that is so, like someone who is like genetically and biologically like lucky um with their transition that is always their favorite thing to say is oh I just worked harder I just worked, I worked harder, harder. cuz yeah. I would say the same thing and it's like what what did I do like what did like, I do I'm yeah like, like what, what some people are I just do? like really really lucky and they can pass like really early on and some people like me like not to like make this about me but like I've been on testosterone for a year and I still look like this and I am getting top surgery in December and like I mean, I'm just not gonna pass as easily as him your mustache you know? came in pretty good though <laughs> <laughs> I think your mustache came in pretty good. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> like some people that j- just like testosterone just doesn't work for them as well. Like some people like like just can't pass as easily. And then also, of course, there's the whole thing of like sometimes passing isn't the goal. Like it's not the ultimate goal for all trans people, right? To say that that's the ultimate goal for all trans people is just so misrepresentative of trans people and and how some trans people feel a lot of trans people don't ever really want to pass they want to experiment with their identity they want to look androgynous they want to look like a non-conforming a randomized sim maybe yeah (laughs) or i I resonate with that or they they don't (laughs) is that like how you find like euphoria is looking like a randomized yeah i feel like i look like like a randomized sim right now (laughs) yeah see that's what's up (laughs) <laughs> so like so just to say that like passing is the goal is not necessarily representative of like all trans people and how they feel about passing and to make fun of people that can't it's just not cool man it's just it's just so like how old is this dude? unnecessary is this like 21? he's 21 dude you're really he's 21 cool. he has ninety one thousand followers like there are people looking to him to, to know about trans issues. Wow, right? every single... Almost every single one. Every single one, one about, like, I pass and I'm a trans guy. Yeah, like, almost damn. every single TikTok of his is I pass and I'm better than people who can't. Wow. Why? For what? Like, I what guess, is he trying to accomplish? I guess he just doesn't have any other, like... Um, I'm not trying to be, like, mean, but, like, he doesn't have, like, any... Anything, anything else to, to talk about? Yeah, like, any, like, he probably, like... Maybe he just, like, goes to the gym or something and he's just, like... I am transgender. I am transgender. Like, that's so cool. Like, you know, like, you can totally be, like, proud. Oh, look at, look at the... Oh, no. Yeah, this is, I mean, 
I've seen this type of trans person before. I used to be this type of person. There was like a time in my life where I didn't have any hobbies. I didn't have any other interests besides like, I'm trans and I pass and like, um, people like people would like hype me like people probably hype me in the comments like oh like yeah transition goals can't wait to look like you like blah, yeah blah. people would do that to me and it would like get to my head because like just like a year or two prior like i was commenting that kind of stuff on other people's yeah. stuff so like he might have been in the same position and he just doesn't have any kind of hobby nothing to talk about besides like i'm trans and i pass i'm, I'm yeah. trans and i pass like i'm so freaking awesome like blah 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 so like I don't know. I just hope he gets a hobby. That's all I can suggest. Yeah. Once I got a hobby, life became, like, so much better. Yeah. What's the hobby that you got? I got into art. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, I agree. I think that, like, maybe he doesn't have anything else to talk about. And, like, it's so hard for me to get into that, like, to understand that mindset. Because, like, I don't know. Like, how do you, do you find joy out of, like, Tearing down other I, people in your community. I used to like, find joy in people being jealous of me. Really? Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah. And that's exactly what mm-hmm. he's doing. Mm-hmm. That's exactly why he's like, making these TikToks. when people would be like, oh my gosh, like, I wish I looked like you. Well, I'd be like, yeah. And ah. And everyone who, like, comments mm-hmm. negatively towards him, that's it what he thinks. Yeah, he thinks, they're oh, they're just jealous yeah. of me. Wow. And that's what he's going to say about us. Like, well, first of all, he's not going to know who we are. We're going to yeah. like we switch him. We're tearing it. We're tearing him a new freaking booty hole and we're looking like this. Yeah, we're looking like this. We're like, this, this, this dude just doesn't have anything to do with his life. You know, he's going to be like, what? We're like, we're like, he needs to find a hobby and we and look like we're... this. Oh, my. Well, egg on my face. Right. Well, um, Marcus, uh, I don't know. I just hope you get into something awesome. Maybe, yeah, like... Yeah, I hope that, like, one besides, day... I don't know. If stuffing his shirt is what he's into, that could be his hobby, but, like... Like... It, I feel like he could do so much more. I hope that, like, one day, you know... And, and this is what I hope for, like, all trans guys that have that, like, toxic masculinity and that, like, internalized transphobia, right? Like, mm. I just hope that, like, one day you grow out of that and you, like, learn how beautiful the trans community is and like how diverse and amazing we are and like how affirming it can be to like actually be like accepting of yourself and the trans people around you. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like trans people like this, like do not go to trans spaces. Yeah. Like he is not in trans spaces. It seems like, okay, I've only seen a couple different videos and it seems like his family is very unsupportive. Oh. That, I mean, I was, I was a little... Uh, He's almost exactly like you. Yeah, I'll say I was a little d**chwad when I was a kid because my family was super unsupportive. Yeah. And then after I was like, after I like, after I moved out is when I like, yeah, was like, okay, like I am nice now. But the the thing is like, <laughs> like, just because your family's not supportive doesn't mean like you can be unsupportive of yeah, other trans I know, people. I know, I like, know. But I'm just like, oh, this makes sense. Yeah. Like, he's, like, miserable. There's, yeah, there's some probably deep-seated issues, right? I just, like, hope the best for him, and I hope that he moves on, right? Yeah. Please, talk about something besides being trans. I feel like that sounds so mean, saying, obviously, he's very, we, proud. He's we literally, very proud. We literally are on a trans podcast. On a trans podcast. Like, but hey, can like, you please shut up about being transgender? Yeah, nobody Thank cares. You. <laughs> nobody cares that you're transgender. Gosh. Um, no, I think, we care. We care. I think we the care real about issue you, is that, like, it's just, it's so unproductive to, like, tear down people who are less fortunate than you please i love you people at the party expecting the trans guy to show up why are you t- <laughs> like hey yo i'm bringing marcus the trans guy <laughs> oh it's gonna be lit meet you there he oh, just sh- feels like he's so much better than other trans people and it's like oh another thing i was gonna say is like he feels like he's so much better than other trans people but like anti-trans legislation affects him too yeah, like, like at the end of the day, like, like no, we're all under fire. We're all like being hunted. Like we're literally like dying. Like trans hate crimes have gone up. Like, like more anti-trans legislation has been introduced in the world and especially in America than ever before. And like all of that stuff affects all of us. So why are you tearing down other trans people and acting as if like you're like is that does that make you like free from all of that pain like does that make you better than other trans people and like worthy of cisgender approval because it doesn't like transphobic people are still gonna hate him you know 
Yeah, why does he think that everyone thinks trans guys have, like, fucking... Because that that might be also, like... Maybe he had gargooties. Well, like, it might also just be, like, how he feels like trans people are... I'm sorry, yeah, show me, I don't know. <laughs> show me show me a trans man in the media who is portrayed like that. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> sorry, now we're just we're just like, <laughs> now we're just making fun. We're just of making fun of trans people. <laughs> hey, look, I'm rubbing up on you. Look, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. What what can uh trans people do to feel better about themselves after dealing with annoying people like our boy Marcus? Uh they can put awesome clothing on. <laughs> Which is what we're gonna talk about for the rest of the episode is yeah. fashion in trans culture. And we're going to uh react to some uh trans uh fashion designers, like trans, people who have trans, made um, apparel. Like trans fashion designers, trans yeah. um clothing yeah promoter some like people some trans people who like there's even i have a trans friend who owns like a vintage shop type of thing oh cool yeah cool and he picks out some really freaking cool outfits every so. time i touch my nose it's really just this i'm not oh, like actually i have two friends wait let me write down the other <laughs> one so ryan is the fashion expert on this podcast i wear the same thing every single day it's okay it Um, just means that you're easier to draw if you're like a cartoon character oh true i am kind of like a cartoon character yeah (laughs) you're just easy to draw i am the main character you are the main character this is your channel it's brenemies it's (laughs) i enjoy i love doing that i miss it i miss like my there's nothing you have some right here thanks i miss her (laughs) I could do like a little mo braid. Oh my right gosh, here. a little mo braid. Now I'm mo. Y'all don't know, but mo has a little braid now. So funny. All right, so since this is about trans fashion and clothing and stuff like that, we're going to react to some of the queer artists and guests who were invited to the Met Gala. They had some very interesting fits. We saw a few. We saw a few already, but we were thinking we would just react to them, say our thoughts. Speaking of queer fashion. Yes. Oh, yeah, Ryan made this for me. I did. I also did the yes. back of or the front of this hat. Yeah, look at this hat. The reason I'm wearing this hat is because my hair looks bad, but look. It used to be a Harry Potter hat, and then I turned it into that. Hey, I wonder what Kim's was. Do you, have you not seen Kim's yet? No, I have high expectations. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, because <laughs> I think hers was the best. Um, Period. I like all my clothes designer. Okay, so... Do you know what the Met Gala is? I like. Um, I don't know okay, what it listen, is. Listen, <laughs> listen, I know that there's like themes and like there's celebrities a theme. go. Yes. And there's like a theme and yes. they dress like cool. Yes. So. Frick. I'm not really like celebrity savvy at all. Like I don't really even know who some of these celebrities. are. I don't are. know who this is. The Met Gala seems topical, so I thought I would. We would do this reaction Dang, anyway. What do we? What do we? What, what do we use as a rating? Um, let's do just like uh, trans flags or something. Do you think that's so boring? That's super boring. Spikes. That's really no. Oh what don't we got to think of an inside joke from the first episode? What are people really like? What was the memorable moment Obama. they said in the Twitter? No, <laughs> five Ob- five out of five Obama heads. No, <laughs> Obama bobbleheads. <laughs> Obama Funko Pop figures. What if we do a different ranking every single time? Like whatever the outfit gives us. Like then, then Alex has to find a different graphic for each thing. That's true. We're not doing that to him. That's true. That's true. Okay, okay. For each one, we're gonna we're gonna do Ryan's and Brennan's, and for each one, we're just gonna like do like someone. Either we'll like ask someone to use their little fan art, or we'll just use a really funny screen cap of our faces during episode one, with okay. the like angel and devil heads. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Okay. So. Uh, let's react to some queer people at the Met Gala. Okay, okay. Period. okay so this is um, this is Nikki Tutorials. I saw this one already, and I think this one is really, really beautiful. And I love the tribute to Marsha. It's very much on theme. The flowers are beautiful. Um, the flowers are beautiful. The um, the, the ribbon. Way the dress fits her is beautiful. The ribbon, pay it no mind. That is, is so, so beautiful. beautiful. I really Jinx. like this look. Jinx. I give it um, 10, ten Brennans out of ten. Ten Ryan's out of ten. <laughs> I like it. It's very subtle. It's not. Um, 
it's it's definitely a tribute to the trans community, but not in like an overt way. Like sh she's not like wearing the trans colors or something. Yeah, yeah. You know what it's I mean? It's very subtle, but it's like and it's what, and it just up? looks really good on her. It just looks really good on her. I feel really bad for Alex because he's got to do ten of our little faces. Wait, can I change my currency to noodle heads? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. <laughs> Elliot Page. All right, so we're now we're at Elliot Page. Oh, why Elliot does Page. this suit fit them like that? I just, okay, so I think Elliot Page is brilliant. I really appreciate him coming out and- No, and he needs a full fit pick. Where is the full fit pick? Y'all, the sleeves. Oh, here we go. Okay, have y'all ever worn a t-shirt? Like, okay. But listen, bro. do you know what this looks like? It looks like um, a trans man for wearing wearing a suit to a very big oh, event so handsome. for Look the first time. Here. He is very he's fucking very handsome. handsome. We're, very we're looking at a little video of him and like... <laughs> there's, there's a little close-up on his face. He's very... Oh, hot. wait, no, go back. He's very attractive. Go back. Do you know who, um, who he looks like? Do you yes, know whose I, look yes, he I, steals I, from? I, I, I know. He's who. literally stealing from Mo. Yeah. Like, literally stealing Mo's look. Yeah. I like the shoes. Oh, you like the shoes? I like his shoes. Hmm. Yeah, I just think like it—it's very much giving me like trans guy first suit mm. vibes. We're gonna get torn apart. I'm sorry, but so Elliot Page has like so much money. Like, are you telling me that like he can't but go get you freaking know, fitted? You know why it's not fitted? It's Why? so so no curves. This is a this is a trans guy. Okay, no but curves. he can like you can't okay, have he a can fitted fix his suit. Sleeves. He can fix his sleeves. He can fix the shoulders. He can shorten it just a little bit. So I get it, but I admire him. Though. He could have worn something awesome. He didn't have to wear a suit. But it's, I admire him because this is like his first like I think it's like his first red carpet. Yeah. After coming out, and I think that like taking it taking it slow, being simple, I think that's good. I think it's good, and I think that. Um, he seemed really, really happy, and he does look very happy. He's very handsome. And he's hot. I like his hair. He's very he's hot. A, he's such a cutie. He is such a cutie. But I do wish he did more. I'm gonna. And give I him... wish that he would credit Mo for his looks. I'm gonna give. I wish him... he would credit Mo for his looks. I'm gonna give him. His hair is exactly Four like Mo. Noodle heads. Every hairstyle he's ever come out with after he came out has been Mo's hairstyle. I'm giving four noodle heads out of ten. I'm gonna give for effort. I'm going to give Perfect seven effort. Brennans out of ten. Yes. I think um, there's a lot to come for our boy. I would have liked to see them. What, what color are their eyes? I don't know. I would like to see them in like a... Just just like... They didn't have to wear like a, like a, like a blazer. That's so... I hate blazers. That's just me. This is MJ Rodriguez, amazing trans woman. I love Very it. Very pirate. Pirates. Mm -hmm. That's what I was gonna say. Pirate vibes. Wow. Fits the theme. Fits the theme. It's giving me Colonial Williamsburg. I don't know what the hell that means, but um, yeah, sure. Yeah, I just think she looks dope. I really like her. I think that I like she's her nails. she's such a cool person anyway. Um, but I love the outfit as well. I'm gonna give it. 10 I'm Brennan's 10. out of 10. 10, 10 The middle. nails! Yeah, that's how I was saying. You see all the red accents she's got oh on? Oh my god. The, um, if you notice, the... This is so beautifully the curated. Underneath of, like, this fabric, it's that red pinstripe. That is so good. Yeah, like, more pirate vibes. Giving me, um, American Revolution. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, history class. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. This My is girl. Kim Petra. This is Kim Petra. This is Kim Petra. You were like, I haven't seen it. I was like, yes, this is going to be so good. One of Lennon and I, like, our, one of our favorite songs is by her. Like, Lennon and I, our song is um, I Don't Want It At All by Trisha Paytas. Do you know Not what Trisha they Paytas said? Trisha Paytas by Kim Petra. I said Trisha Paytas. <laughs> <laughs> do you no, know? No, no. Do you know what she said no, about it? Why? She said that it was to all the hurt horse girls in America. <laughs> There's another one. There's another person that has a, a horse head too. Okay, how many people? Okay, Kim Page Kim is one of them. But how many of these people were on? Because because Megan Fox, I think, was going nuts that night. I think with the theme. It is. What is this? I think. I think. <gasps> I think if you are going to do a horse head on your dress, it is well executed. 
I yeah. think the goal was achieved. What is it? You know what? I love it. I actually love this look, to be honest. Because that is what you're supposed to wear at the Met Gala. I think it's cool. You know what I mean? I like, you're supposed to wear yeah. something crazy. I would give this eight noodle heads. I was a horse girl. I had briar horses. Period, period. People were going to be like, you're misgendering yourself in the car. Really so, cute. I love it. Ten Brennans out of ten. I worked... With horses on my uncle's farm as a child. Dang, this lighting sucks. Uh, give me very like, you know how like Lady Gaga's like art pop. Yes. Album? Give me very that. But I like, I don't know where it fits instead. the theme, but I love it. It's very Met Gala. I, I love, love it. it. Oh, period. I love it. I love it. <laughs> period. I think she looks great. Wow. Yeah. I think she looks great. Ten, ten. Brennans out of ten. Ten noodles. We did we see Jeanette Mock. Hmm, so pretty. Wow. I like that wow. one. Wow. I love that. I love the, the color. I think that's very Met Gala. It is. Is it weird? I wish the dress was a little more like form. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, oh wow. 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 Yeah. <laughs> we is. just looked at a close up of like her. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it fits. It, it fits. It, it fits. fits. It fits. Those are just oh, bad pictures. Oh, wow. I would, I would also I give her love a nine that. or a 10. I love that. 10. I give her a 10. I love that so much. Did you know that Nicki Minaj didn't go? because of yeah. the vaccine. Yeah, Nikki. She said, she tweeted that she didn't go because of the vaccine. Nikki. I'm gonna still listen to her music though. Nikki, come on, get vaccinated. I love uh, nice. So that was the Met Gala looks. I think for the most part, queer people really pulled it off. I like their looks. Um, I love uh, queer fashion. I think that, I think that so much can happen for queer people when they can express themselves through clothing, which is something that we're gonna talk a little bit about in this episode. We're gonna do more episodes on queer fashion and like trans fashion. This is one where we kind of just talk about kind of ourselves and react to other people's, um, uh, other like fashion designers kind of in the trans community. So we're definitely gonna do more episodes on it, but I hope you enjoy this episode. And uh, I hope you don't get too mad at us about our opinions about the Met Gala. Does clothing equal gender, Ryan? <laughs> no, it does not, but it can be used to express gender. Yeah, so that's like the whole point of this uh, podcast is that clothing can be used as a tool to express your gender identity, but it doesn't necessarily mean that dresses are for girls and suits are for men uh I there's think it's 2021 more, we're past it's 2021 that. we're past yeah, that yeah i don't think people yeah. will be thinking about that anymore we're past general. that but that's what phone. i'm saying that it's is my, my phone, phone actually, <laughs> actually it's your phone I'm we should like use each other's phones and answer each other's phones for for each other no okay <laughs> we would not be doing that um, <laughs> earlier would have turned out real bad <laughs> experimenting with presentation <laughs> is a valuable part of the trans experience <laughs> Um, so do you want to, uh, react to how our personal style has changed over yes. time? Can so I take this off? I'm getting warm. Yeah. Can I take this yeah, off? Can yeah. Can I take off the wig? <laughs> no, we have to oh. keep the wigs on for as long as we can. I hate it. Like, this is like, um, it is so funny that Spirit Halloween is open at the time that we are doing this podcast. My shirt is inside out. It's because... a travesty. <laughs> Yeah, it honestly, like, we we didn't even, okay, we went in there just to go in there for fun. Yeah. We were supposed to go to Target yes. to get the backdrop. Yeah, we were going to get the backdrop, but, but there was a spirit Halloween yeah, on the way. So we went, so, and here we are, dressed as each other somehow, some way. I, I think it really worked out. I think it's good. So remember in the first episode where we were like, all of the money is going to go towards trans people yes well i paid for this for a, halloween a so. pretty big chunk of our profits might go towards costumes but we'll donate the costumes to trans people no don't say that <laughs> i pay for the costumes guys okay um, <laughs> no i don't want people actually thinking our our profits that, are yeah go like 99 of they're gonna profits. they're gonna be they're gonna actually think guys i spent oh 100 gosh. bucks at spirit halloween I for hope our that, first two episodes stop it <laughs> i hope that um people realize that i'm joking but maybe they won't i don't know maybe they won't 
don't scare them like that. Don't scare me like that. I just, I was gonna say, I just got good with the trans community. No, I didn't. I, didn't I don't know about that. We'll see. The trailer. Oh, this is episode two. Episode one, I just got good with the trans community. Yeah, so episode two, I am good with the trans community. Right, guys? <laughs> right? Um, okay, so we're going to uh, look at what we used to look like. Let's start with Ryan. Oh, please, can we change clothes? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to get through the whole episode like this. Uh, this is a very important moment because this was my first time wearing makeup as, like, after transitioning. What, what, when was this? This was in 2018, I want to say. Okay. I think you look very, like, close to what you kind of look like now. That's how I always wanted to dress. And, like, I always thought the eyeliner was really cool because I really, I was, okay, when I was, I was super into, like, um, like, Asian pop music and stuff. And, like, G-Dragon always wore eyeliner. And I thought it was really freaking sick. So I also wanted to do it, but I was like, I don't want to look like a chick. Um, so this is my first time wearing eyeliner, and it was not my idea. It was actually my photographer Maria's idea. Maria, I love them very much. Um, they are, they're just like a super dope photographer. Anyways, um, I cried a little when they were putting on, um, my makeup and I was freaking out a little cause I was because really worried. Because you felt like gonna, you would, yeah, was, you had dysphoria yeah, about it. Yeah, I was it. really worried I was gonna look like That's a girl. That's interesting. And they were like, no, 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 just trust me, just trust me. And I was like, okay, cool. Cause like, you did, Maria, you do look very cool. Yeah, thank you. I agree. After this photo shoot, I was like, oh, fuck. I yeah. I will be wearing this a lot. Yeah. I think that, um, Ryan kind of started out as like very much like a boy type thing so we have to bleep we can bleep it it's fine um but and now you're like very what do you call it punk um i would say i'm like fashion punk fashion punk but like i don't listen to like the clash but like i like i i enjoy things like against me and like i like i like dad rock and i like stupid punk pop like blank and anything that Travis helps produce. So let's look at the next image. This is so good. <sighs> this <laughs> this was me on vacation with Aaron's family. So this in twenty eighteen. This is um, a fit. I think this is really representative of who you once were. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Well, I always was super interested in, like, punk fashion, but the thing was, um, my family grew up, my mom would always, like, make me, like, wear Abercrombie and, like, Hollister and stuff like that, so when I was finally able to, like, dress like a dude, I wanted to dress, like, preppy, kind of. Yeah. Because that was what I was used to seeing, like, in the boy section, I was like... (sighs) Do you feel like, like, that gave you gender euphoria for that time in your life? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for the time in my life. Yeah. I want to take off the wig so bad. (laughs) I'm just going to do it. Okay. <laughs> I feel so much better. Those don't work. They're fake glasses. I know. <laughs> oh, you're wearing your glasses on top. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm taking out the wig too then. Okay, so um, let's look at the... This is like very preppy, Ryan. This next one. I think like that's what you looked like when you were bullying um, non-binary people. It is. It yeah. Is. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you remember. <laughs> yeah. Remember that time? <laughs> remember that time? Uh, um, yeah, I had like a couple. I had like three or four The tattoos. thing is, do you know who you look like in this photo? No, who? Marcus. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that to me. I see what you're saying. Um. I, if I cut my hair short again, I you would see that head shape again. But oh my I goodness! Cover it. Um, the next photo is you in a bathroom taking a mirror selfie. Yeah, it, it was a celebratory moment because <laughs> the last time I was in that bathroom, I was crying. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it was the bathroom in my local boba tea place. Did you cry a lot when, like, before testosterone or? Oh no. Were you on testosterone in this photo? In this photo, yes. I got on testosterone in the beginning of 2017. Because like, I cried a lot. Birthday. Like, I cried a lot before I testosterone. I sometimes cried. I cried I would because... cry at the drop of a hat. <laughs> I was going to say I was crying, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving forward. <laughs> what? Oh, I have a hair. What is it? You probably have several Ryan hairs. You have several everywhere. Oh, oh, on your face. You have so many on your face. Okay, I got that. Um, This next photo of you with a 
What is that? It's it's a what is that in your mouth? I don't know. This is when I got like um kind of <laughs> by a fan. <laughs> so it's also an important moment. I didn't I never I didn't think about this while picking out the pictures. That is so but, funny. Um, I don't look know what at that your is. outfit. I don't really look at remember you. that. It was really cold. That was a really thin sweater. I have a lots of really mean videos wearing that sweater. Yeah. I like you probably recognize the sweater. I do kind of recognize yeah. the sweater actually. I so I don't have that sweater. This next one, you in front of a dog. That was my car. Of course, that was my of course you car. drove one of the coast cars. So I live in Los Angeles and I have never seen one of those not speeding. Oh, like, I had a heavy have, engine. Like I have never I seen one of those in one of going those. a normal speed. Yeah. And they're always like they always come up right behind you and then pass you really dangerously. Yes. Um I think that what is it, a Dodge? Yeah. I think that Dodge should stop making those cars because only jerks drive those cars and they it's suck. True. It's true. And um, I think uh, Dodge as a company is a menace to society. That's my thoughts on Dodge cars. Yeah, I mean. And there's you looking like a boy. Yeah. Right in front of it. Look, so look, I got the little Air Forces on. You do. I'm a big advocate for look Air at Forces. You. If you want to be taller, wear Air Forces. Look at you. All right, let's look at this Thrasher short shirt of yours. I'm also wearing a Thrasher hoodie in, oh, the, in that picture that my you just goodness. showed. This is just... Did you, did you know... Oh the God. red hat. Yeah. Is that a Trump hat? It was because I, ne- I, I needed. It's not. It is. I needed a red hat. It's a what? For the show. Is that a Make America Great Again hat? It. Ryan. Well, I needed a red. Hat. I didn't buy it. Or Storm anything. Ryan. I just wanted it because it matched my shirt, and I my hair was ugly. And you so I unironically put it wore on a Trump hat. My head to. I was in a very liberal area. Like I think people would have beat me up if they actually saw me wearing that. I was in a, an incredibly liberal area. Um, but I, I just put it on for the pictures, so. Oh my gosh. Anyway, yeah. let's move let's on from Brennan. that. Let's look at, let's look at what I used to look like. Um, this is going to be really sad for you because all of this is what I looked like before the, the incident. Okay, great. <laughs> um, and so my style was very much like pink, colorful, but looking back, it was still pretty androgynous, to be honest. Like I wore a lot of like button downs. I wore a lot of like t-shirts and stuff like that chucks yeah i loved converse i was obsessed with converse do you know my theory about converse vans and docks no so i think there's they're like gender neutral shoes i think that there's three types of gays oh okay um or non-binary people or gays or trans people i don't know queer people Mm -hmm. um there's three types of queer people there's docks queer people there's vans queer queer people and there's converse queer people and I think it is very much associated with um, who you are as a person, right? Um, but also, uh, and this is a joke. I'm not being serious about this. I feel like some people are going to think that I'm being serious about this. It's just a joke. I think that um, if you wear Converse, you're a bottom. And if you wear Docs, you're a top. And if you wear Vans, you're a verse. Okay. You, I was gonna say it, what is, it does. Does track. that track? It does track. I was gonna say, what do you wear? And I was like, so um, okay. I wear Vans. So um, I'm, I'm thinking about everybody. Is, is it accurate or no? Do you think it's accurate? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so well, we won't say he, who, but one of them is wearing Vans and one of them is wearing Converse. <laughs> That's so interesting. That's so interesting. You say Vans are tops. I say Vans are... um, Wait, you said Vans were tops? (laughs) Interesting. Interesting. (laughs) What if you own all three? (laughs) Then then, then you're having a good time. (laughs) Then you're having a good time. Um, Oh, no, we're restarting. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, so that's my theory on... Um, I think it's just, I think, I just think it's silly and sometimes it fits. Um, but you are not defined by any sexual position that you prefer. And or honestly, shoe. in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter, right? Wear whatever shoes you want to wear. Yes. I wear Air Forces, so that's not even So I used to be very much a Converse gay, and that is not a commentary on my sexual position. It is just the fact that I really, I didn't come up with that, that theory until later but um i really liked converse now i'm more of like a vans person but yeah you're just telling everyone your business i know bro. but that's not representative of like 
of I'm I'm pretty asexual to be honest. But anyway, we don't have to talk about that. So we're not about our sex lives on. <laughs> so so this is like um me in like a little uh, button down, a pink button down that I wore all the time. It's in almost every one of my photos. Super cute. Um, and I think it's really cute. And my hair, I loved my pink hair so much. I really did like it. I think it defined me for a really long time. Um, and it was really like pink was my way of like kind of saying like fuck you to the gender binary I guess and like being gender non-conforming and like gender queer um juxtaposed to like a very feminine look um it just was just was a little bit euphoric for me this uh, this next photo is like the best hair I ever had I think what do you think I think it's fire I think it's pretty good hair I think it's pretty fire um I had so much hair and it, uh, I loved the color. I loved blue and pink. I thought that was so fun. Did testosterone make your curls tighter? Yeah, I think so. Too. Yeah, I think testosterone made my curls tighter. Also, like, not dyeing my hair, too. <laughs> made my curls better. Because okay. um, I've always had kind of curly hair, but. All right. This was a photo shoot with HBO um, when I was, like, I had just graduated high school and this was, like, when I was really close to, like, being an influencer full-time. And, like, um, I was getting a lot of opportunities. Um, this was, like, in New York City. Like, they flew me out to New York City. It was pretty great. But I really like this look. Because it's still kind of androgynous. Yeah. Even though it's very pink and and, and very, like, I'm well, wearing just, makeup. Just like, little gay boy. I do. Don't like, you think? you showed this to, like, literally, like, any, yeah. like, like white freaking republican yeah like, oh this little boy this wearing little gay boy makeup. yeah i think that like even though i was wearing a lot of pink and a lot of people would like label my style as feminine i think my feminine my 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 style was kind of androgynous throughout my you know mm-hmm. my pink phase right um like this one this next one is me is that a camo it's it's camo dungarees it's, mm. it's camo overalls yeah you see i don't know if i can respect that at all <laughs> Listen, I really liked those overalls. Okay, okay, I wore here. it ironically. I wore the camo ironically. <laughs> I never wore camo ironically. I think it's cute. You're appropriating. You my wore culture. a Trump hat. You wore a Trump hat. Okay. You wore no, a Trump I, hat. You, you wore a Trump hat. So okay, me and camo. It was for the fashion. Okay, fashion. More like fascism. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, so, <laughs> I really like that outfit. I like that outfit a lot. And it's still kind of androgynous. Like, I don't know. Anyway. And then this is just more of me in pink. Um, I really liked pink for a while. And I thought that it was really sweet. And then something happened and I kind of stopped wearing pink. Are you ever going to bring back the pink? I don't know. I don't think so. I like red a lot now. Now I wear like red flannels and like black shirts i have like five shirts that i rotate and some of them are marvel themed graphic tees and some of them are uh t-shirts designed by trans people that yeah i have several i have several artists uh t-shirts yeah speaking of uh trans people who have designed shirts do you want to look at some trans artists yes let's look at mars right first because we mars. both know mars right so Mars Wright is a an artist, and he sells his Ooh, merch. Me? Oh, all of these artists that we're about to react to, um, we are leaving their links in the description. Obviously, go check them out. Oh, that's, um, nice. that's cool. Yeah. So this is like I exist because of the trans people who came before me. That's really neat. I think that it, I think all of the quotes that he does are really pretty um, and like really beautiful quotes. I like his work a lot. Yeah, the shirt's really cool, too. These are all yeah. really cute. Yeah. Oh, these are all super cute. Yeah. They're very like cute that. outfits. Um, I like what he's doing. Um, and the next person is this Lacuzzi. Lacuzzi. Lacuzzi makes um, airbrushed, uh, like, just, just they make, like, little airbrushed hoodies, and they do little customs for people. They did a custom for Fox. Those are so cool. Yeah. Oh, my I goodness. Have, I have a t-shirt by them. Not an airbrush one, but one of their like screen print ones. The ones they did for Fox is somewhere down here. Oh, that's the one they did for Fox. That's the one they did for Fox. Yeah. 
I'm going to screenshot it. She can't sure. tell. That <laughs> is very cute. It's super cute. I think that... Um... <laughs> You're just like you're taking it all in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do super cool stuff. Yeah. It's all they get a lot into a hoodie. Yeah, yeah. They get a lot into they a hoodie. They add a lot of detail. That's why I really like their stuff. That's so cool. Are they like open for commissions and stuff? Um, I'm not sure. I feel like it might be in their bio. That is so cool. They do a lot of work. Mm-hmm, We're yeah. like scrolling through their Instagram right now. They freaking hustle. That is cool. I like them oh, a lot. commission's closed right now. Oh. Um, well, maybe y'all can go check them out and uh, put them on notification so you can mm-hmm. find out when they're doing commissions mm-hmm. again. Um, okay, so the next person is No Name, No Reason. Yeah, that's their, that's their Instagram name. I don't know their actual name, but we've been mutuals for a while, and I promote their stuff sometimes. Um, but I really like, they do a lot of hand sewing. and well, they, Of course you don't know they, their actual name. Because No Name, No, no Reason. Name, no Reason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, um... Oh, they start doing screen print stuff. It's awesome. But I've really always liked their, like, quilted look stuff. That, I think it's cute. I like that a lot. Yeah. I love that work. And they do a lot of um, pronoun patches as well. There's so much detail in this kind of, like, patchwork mm-hmm. stuff. I love it. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things. I say, I don't know if they have their the pronoun patches for sale right now, but... They do. It's on Depop. That's one of the people. Okay, this person. Who is this bandana boy, boy vintage. vintage? So this is. There's a lot of trans people I noticed who like create um, like vintage shops. Anyways, like so basically he just like goes around to different thrift shops and stuff like that, and he like handpicks like some of his favorite stuff, and then um, people buy it from him. He just puts together like a certain like aesthetic. That's and, cool. Like, people go to him for it. Do people, like, commission, like, aesthetics for him? Like, ask? Um, no, but I know that he does, like, like, private shopping things where, like, people will go to him and he'll have, like, a whole bunch of stuff and, like, they get to go into his little, like, studio and, like, pick out the clothes that they Oh, want. cool. Yeah. So he has, like, a whole bunch of stuff? Oh, yeah, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Is he in yeah. L.A.? No, he's not. Mm. I know. If he was. We would have gone and visited I him. Know. Oh, trust me. Uh, that I would know. have been so fun. I've already told him about this. I told him about our podcast. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. I think that that is a lot of work to do, like, yeah. thrifting. My and friend stuff. Wolfie does the same thing. His, his at is, like, Cowboy Thrift City or Cowboy something. Vintage? I feel like it's that, but, you know, I kind of just wrote that down. You know, I, I honestly don't know if that's the actual thing. This <sighs> next one looks like a keyboard smash. Oh, you're going you're gonna to love this next one. What is it? Let me see. What is that? Wait, it's Finn. Oh, it's Finn. Finn. (laughs) I've met Finn. I've met Finn. Oh my goodness. He does tattoos too. Yeah, he recently started doing tattoos. That's what he does more than anything. If you're in New York, you want a tattoo by a trans person. Yeah. Hit up Finn. His apparel is really cool. Mm -hmm. I like his apparel. Yeah, it's really very stylized. Wow. It's very stylized. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, this will be the last one. Okay, this is someone who I don't personally Robin's know. Robin's Clothing. Yeah, I don't personally know them, but we are mutuals. Uh, another, like, fun person who sews stuff. Oh, yeah, they yeah. do, like, the kind of patchwork type stuff, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, I always thought their shit was, like, super their cool. Their stuff is really cool. I like them a lot. So they also sell or no? I'm pretty sure she sells, yeah. Oh, we got to react to Punk IRL. Oh, to Sid? I don't know if, okay, I think you have to go to punkirl.com, maybe. We went to a fashion show. Yeah, for Alex. We went to a fashion show for oh, another trans artist. Okay. Um, what the hell? Sid? Whoa. Uh, Sid doesn't have anything on his on his site. Well, Sid makes cool stuff. Sid has, uh, you have one of Sid's patches on your pants. On these pants? Yeah, the punk, the, this one, on the side. I'm not getting up. My leg is asleep. You don't have to. Oh, that's sad. Because I was sitting on it. That's really sad. Like a gay person. We can, we can like, <laughs> we can flash up, like, we'll flash up their logo. This episode is going to have so many cuts because, like, we kept, like, um. Just saying just... stupid stuff. <laughs> we also were, like, silent every time we were searching for the new, the next artist. That's so true. Um. Good luck, Alex. Mm. There's an artist named Alex that we like and that we're friends with and we wanted him to be on this podcast, but... He's in New um, York right now. We decided to do this theme yesterday, yeah. so that's our fault. Yeah. But we will have him on the show eventually, yeah. right? Yeah. Maybe we'll do like a part two clothing. We'll have like a bunch of people. Yeah. Like, whatever, whatever. Yes. Yes, uh, I agree. Well, this is fun. This was yeah. a fun episode. We so, got to 
Yeah. <laughs> tear some dude a new You're an artist hole. too. Oh, I do that. I do clothing. I'm wearing my shirt inside out right now. So don't, yeah. don't, please. Don't. You designed that shirt. That's no, very interesting. I, no, That's I very did. interesting. Ryan made my pants. I did make your pants. That I'm wearing. We'll post a picture of them. Yeah, I, yeah. I do some stuff. StormRyan.com. StormRyan.com. You yeah. have some merch too. I do have some merch. My drop just ended, but I think I still have the shorts available, and I always have the hoodies and some patches available. That's cool. Vernon has a hoodie. I do. Because it's black and red. Ryan gave me one of his hoodies, and it's actually a pretty good hoodie. You wear it. You wear it very frequently. I don't want like, I don't want. I do wear it a lot. You're I just don't want people to think that like I. That you promote me. That I promote you. Where? What? Is, what am I? What am I doing? Do you want help? You got it. Okay. Got what it. am I doing right now? I'm on your channel. And I'm like, uh, like these are all my friends. You I'm still, I'm still so scared. I'm so scared Don't of what scared. people think. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Who cares what people think? I do. I do. So we're basically just talking about how like clothing can really help trans people express themselves and find themselves and experiment with their identities. And I think that there needs to be so much more like leeway or room like for expression room for expression exactly room, like people a lot of people um, yeah will like put trans people down for dressing like androgynous in a way yeah like, even if or like whether they're like non-binary or like identifying the binary but like at the end of the day like was there not a time in your transition where you dressed like gender non-conforming yeah like yeah. like everyone had a point in their transition where they dressed ne- g- gender non-conforming yeah and i think too like i don't think like fashion needs to be binary and mm-hmm. it doesn't need to be stationary like fashion can like like we talked about, like our fashion has changed so much yeah. and it's changed as our identities have changed. Like it's, I don't know if we like nailed that point is that like our identities changed as our fashion changed and like the, what gave us euphoria then doesn't necessarily give us euphoria anymore, right? Right, like, would you feel as comfortable wearing all the pink and stuff? No, I probably wouldn't. If I dressed in, like, Abercrombie, <laughs> I think I would, like, rip We talked off. about dressing up, like, uh, like our past selves. Yeah. And we were like, we're going to put that one on the back burner. Yeah, I like, don't know if I want to... We were going to do it for this episode, but yeah. then we were like, I don't know. Let's, Let's just dress as yeah. each other. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that we dressed as each other. Yeah, I, I think we looked pretty cute. good. I like how we like slowly took it off. <laughs> yeah, we're like, I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like wearing this now. Got your um, glasses back on. Yeah. Well, I needed to see what we were looking at. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit more like talky, a little bit more laid back. But our next episode, we are going out into the world. We're going on an adventure. We're going on an adventure. So I hope you enjoy yes. that. Um we post an episode every Friday. So if this one wasn't your favorite, the next one might be. You're going to like the next one. The next one's very heartwarming, very sweet. I think the next one's going to be really cute if it all works out. We I, haven't filmed it yet. No, like, we haven't, but it'll work. And yeah, so subscribe to uh, this channel we have, for the next videos. Uh, donate to the Patreon. What were you saying? We have Twitter. We have, we have Twitter. We have Instagram. We have TikTok. We have, we have TikTok. TikTok. This channel. We have this channel. So subscribe, follow us, um, and donate to the Patreon. To my pa- oh, this <laughs> mustache. <laughs> Wait, put it on no, the mic. No. Oh, ew. <laughs> they can't even see. I don't even think they can see. Let me just close this. Um, what was I saying? Oh, if you want to donate to the Patreon, it helps us help the podcast, and you can uh, get early access to promotional material and all the episodes you get to see first. So, yeah. Um, I hope you have a lovely day. I'm Brennan. I'm Ryan. And this is Brennamies. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>